Well, 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 we're about a week and a half or so into the new speakership, and all I can say is I'm pretty happy with how this thing turned out. And Matt Gates, I'm tipping my hat to you. I was a big critic behind the scenes of your whole uh, bold, exciting move here. I thought it was a tad bit too bold and exciting for my taste, but it paid off. Made Republicans look like a bunch of idiots, but that's just the name of the game that happens just about every week. So I'm happy because this Mike Johnson guy, he seems like he's going to be a great speaker. He's smart. He's quick. Even though no one had any idea who this guy was two weeks ago, he probably spawned on the face of the earth. He was just beamed down from heaven to be the guy for the job. His own district probably had no idea who he was. Heck, probably his own family didn't even know he was in Congress. At least that's what Babylon B says. Despite all that being true, he looks like he's the guy for the job. Plus, He's actually a Christian, which I love. He's not just this bumper sticker Christian, someone who goes to the Republican clam bake and says, you know, I go to church on Sunday, I love God and family, but, you know, he's, we all really know that he's just saying that as part of his campaign. And we smile and we vote for him and we say, yeah, he's a Christian, but we know deep in our hearts he probably really isn't. Um, and he looks like he knows how to actually play ball. He looks like he knows how to actually move the levers of Congress and get things done. Sometimes the ideologues, the people who are more conservative or more based on their beliefs, aren't always the best politicians. But Johnson here looks like he knows what he's doing, especially with what he's doing separating Ukraine aid and Israel aid and really forcing this issue. So I'm excited with what I'm seeing from him. Of course, it's still early. He could still break my heart. He's a politician. He probably will. Let's be honest with that. But still, I'm happy. He seems like he overall is better than McCarthy. So that begs the question. I'm, I'm tipping my hats to Gates. I'm, I'm being honest about that. I'm saying Johnson's better than McCarthy. Was it a good idea then to oust McCarthy? Probably still not. And I'm no McCarthy fan here. All I'm saying is that this plan to get rid of him wasn't really a plan at all. It was more of just an impulse, and that was my problem with it. I'm all for changing things up. I'm all for trying to get someone more conservative into power, but I just wasn't a fan that there wasn't a real strategy here. It reminded me of the end of Finding Nemo when the fish uh, break out of the tank in the plastic bags and they get in the ocean, but they're still trapped in their plastic bags, and they're saying, great, we did it. Now what? We had whole, a whole three weeks of now what? Fish floating in plastic bags saying, now what? And based on Republicans' tendency to do really stupid things in times of panic, I was worried that Republicans were going to cut a deal with Democrats to leverage uh, McCarthy back into power, basically ceding more power to Democrats and be in a worse place than we were in the first place. So that was the real risk going in. And I just say that to acknowledge that this was not written in the stars. We have a fantastic outcome here with Speaker Johnson, but that was not guaranteed. Gates here, he threw a real Hail Mary. It paid off. We got the touchdown, but it could have been intercepted. It could have ended really badly, but still, he was bold enough to do it. I tip my hat to him. Good for you, Gates. Please don't ever do that again.